48 hour room refresh challenge. Circle, 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 circle. So many circles on here. Stay tuned. You okay, buddy? Oh, I see your ball is stuck under there. Do you need me to get it for you? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. My name is Olivia, but you probably already knew that because you clicked on this video. Today is a very wonderful day. Did you seriously just get it stuck under there again? As I was saying, today is a really amazing day because I am finally going to be tackling this guest bedroom. A few vlogs back, I mentioned that it was just getting kind of boring in here and I just needed to really mix things up and just do something different with this space. So today's the day I've decided to tackle that. And here's the thing. We have three days until we leave on our next trip and we have like a guest coming to stay at our house while we're away. So I know this is kind of ambitious and kind of crazy, but I wanna see if I can get this guest room looking less boring within the next three days. So I'm gonna take you. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys along for this process and see what we can do. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now, just so you have an idea. I can't. Okay, this is what the guest room looks like currently. I kind of had like a boho-ish thing going when I had the pompous grass above the bed, but that's gone. And I just got a lot of like dried florals and I'm just kind of not into these like rainbowy designs anymore. And then I had the arch, which was super cool, but I think that I might paint over it. I'm not sure. I just kind of want to give it a bit more of like a vintage vibe, like with these thrift store items that I found. So let's see what we can do. I got these paint swatches and I know this is like quite similar to the white, but I'm thinking of doing just like an accent tan wall here just to give the space some dimension. But if you guys know me, you know that I'm just not gonna paint it any color. I have convinced Zach to build a little like beadboard half wall situation for me so I can paint that. And I think it might look really cool. I think he's working on it in the garage right now. So let's go see. I was right. He is working on it. I assume you're working on this right now. I'm working on something. Is it not this? It is. Oh, good. <laughs> He's working on this right now. You should explain what we have to do to the boards in order to put them up. So the first step in our process of putting these boards up is gonna be taking a trip to Home Depot, just because it's fun. You know, just to kind of get yourself in the mood for the DIY. Uh, <laughs> then the next step is we're gonna slice these to the height that we want, and then we're gonna put them up on the wall. And that's why I've got this fancy little track here to slide the saw across, cut it straight, because we don't have room for a table saw in our garage. Slice it up. Alrighty, I figured while Zach is down there making all his cuts and stuff like that, I would start to clear out this room. So, oh, I'm probably not gonna clear out the bed because that's heavy, but everything else I can do. It is the next day, the next morning actually, it got too dark for us to do anything else last night, but Zach cut all of the beadboard and we are about to put it all up and then caulk it and then I can paint. Like super easy project, I think. As you can see, um, the room is in shambles now, but we got that beadboard. We 
are making some progress. The bead board is all up. And now we're putting out this little trim piece right here. And then we're gonna put up another one and make like a little shelf ledge thing. The shelf is up. Gotta screw it into the stuff. I think it looks so cute. Let me show you a further back view. Character. All right, you guys, the little shelf thing is on. It's looking so cute. And now I am going to paint, which is fun. Yeah, painting is fun. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what it looks like. This, we could use this as a nightstand, the like stump, it's cool, it's like earthy. And I was thinking, okay, so if we have the stump, we do the black lamp. So there's a little black here, a little black here. These are kind of like some darker colors. So I need a phone, do you have a phone? Thank you, I just wanna take a picture so I can remember what it's looking like. Okay, and then I saw this nightstand when I was there, or this side table, and I thought, that's super cute, so I wanted to give it a try. But you can't do the black lamp on the black nightstand, so I figured I would need to switch it up. So let's see what this would look like. And here's black nightstand for a side table. And we have this. And then I got a different lamp. Well, it's gonna be a white one, but they had this brass one that I thought might look cute. So I got the brass lamp. So now we have to see, take another picture now, and see which one we like better. Stump. Black nightstand. I think the black nightstand looks a little bit more like professional. <laughs> like a like a more like a nightstand, I guess. More so than the stump. It provides a little bit more space for like setting things down, like a little bit more coverage. The height is better, but I feel like it might do a nice job of tying in the black. <sighs> Stay tuned. Maybe we don't like the brass because it's very skinny and the nightstand is skinny too. But the black on black, I feel like I didn't prepare myself for this. We got a little something to separate it from the black. Oh, it just is it too black heavy now? <sighs> okay, I also brought these things. I don't know if that would look good if I like. Because this is like a circle, 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 circle. So many circles on here. I feel like that's a that's a no no. Hmm. These books too big are too big but I feel like that looks really cute mm -hmm. I mean do I get rid of this then I can get rid of this but then is that sad no. without any foliage we can I have a smaller one we can do something smaller yeah it looks nice is that better we have to take a picture obviously okay okay so this was the brass I didn't think about it, but circle skinny, circle skinny. I don't know. This was the black, completely just blends right in. Now here's black with books. Still a bit black heavy in this corner, but I think maybe it is better than the brass because of the skinniness and the like similarity in shape. What do we do? Okay, that was it's been a time. We started this project yesterday morning, literally Friday morning, and now it's Saturday evening. 
and I went shopping at Target for like one hour today to get some supplies. We pulled some stuff from the rest of the house, pulled from some stuff we already had. And look at this, a completely different room in 48 hours. This should be a challenge. Like, you know how there's the 48 hour film challenge? The 48 hour room refresh challenge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna coin that one. <laughs> First of all, in case you guys wanna see what it looked like before, well, obviously my style has changed and evolved a little bit since we first moved into this house last year, but I figured I'd give you a little room tour to show you what we have so far. It's not done. The other side of the room where you guys are standing is completely empty. It's not done yet. So we'll just focus on this side of the room for now. Well, as you guys saw, we made this little shelf thing super duper easy. Um, I got this little black stand at Target today. I think it was called the Londonberry stand or something like that. Londonberry side table. Um, these two books are vintage. Got this little mini lamp at Target. You guys know I love their mini lamps. This beautiful candle. Oh, it smells so good. It's by Yield. If you can find this somewhere near you or online, I would highly recommend and then uh, this little vase is also thrifted vintage and these flowers I picked while I was on a hike two years ago <laughs> they're still going strong everything right here is vintage I'm very sorry to disappoint but all of this was found at antique stores and the beauty of this is you could probably go to your local thrift or antique store and find something that's like super similar but also unique at the same time which is super cool um, while we're at it actually everything that's on the ledge um, I thrifted at antique stores over the past year or so, but you can find this print um, online at a ton of places, and I'm sure you could just get a little gold frame. So that one you could probably recreate. Okay, the bed. I feel like this is my best bed yet. I'm still learning how to style beds. It's definitely a tricky, but like really fun task. So I hope that you guys like it. This top duvet is just the basic white linen sheet from Parachute Home. Big fan of them. This green quilt is also from Parachute Home. I just got a twin size and then draped it over instead of getting a queen size because twin size is cheaper. <laughs> this little like woven knit throw, I believe it's from Bowling Branch and I got it a few years ago, but again, tan woven knit throws super easy to find and then these two uh euro shams that match the blanket are also from parachute home and then these three little beauties i picked up at target today and hold on don't show them the side of the room that's messy um i actually picked up this pillow today at target as well i didn't end up using it in the final room but it's super super cute so if you like this go to target and get it all the pillows were 20 dollars each and the side table was 70 and the mini lamp was 10 so not too bad for target you know and then over there in this corner i've got this little basket that's by oh my gosh i can't remember the name connected goods it's by a local brand in portland oregon called connected goods they make super cute natural things and i'm just using it as a little blanket basket always good to have one of those and then for my prized possession of the room let's go did you show them the messy side no you want me to no <laughs> no <laughs> um my skinny bench my skench you guys know that I like flipped out when I found this for $50 on OfferUp. Oh my gosh, $50. Literally the best $50 I've ever spent. And then this cutesy little pumpkin that I got at a local shop in Franklin, Tennessee while we were visiting called White's Mercantile. And I figured it was just the perfect touch of fall. Then over here, I've got this large mirror. I have had this um, since we moved into the house. And I think this is actually an old Ikea mirror. I bought it on OfferUp used from someone 
and they had painted it like really ugly with like pink letters all over it. So I repainted it white and it's literally so chunky and massive, but I got it for hundred dollars, which I think is pretty good for a floor mirror. And it's just like, it's the perfect mirror and I'm very excited for outfit picks in this room now. Okay, that is the room tour for now, ladies and gents. Thank you guys so much for watching us redo our guest room super quick um, in two days. It was super fun. I hope that it inspired you to spruce up your space for your guests because they deserve it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see more fun like DIY design videos like this because we're doing stuff like this all the time and we can totally film more of it if you want to see it make sure to give it a like and hit subscribe and I will see you guys really soon. Probably, maybe, hopefully.